How are you being affected by the ASU strike? I, don't, I like the ASU strike. Let's continue to go on. I don't know, but like, I guess, actually, I don't know what to believe, but I'm 16. And then what I've done is that now I'm supposed to be in 200 level. I'm, I'm a student of a state university. So I'm supposed to be in 200 level now. I've actually planned that by 19, I'll be done. And then I'll be a chartered accountant as well, because I'm doing the program I can. So it's already affecting my plans of being a young graduate, you understand? So I'm, I'm like, this should, this should, I don't know, this should just, Please, though it's even it's helping us somehow, but it's also affecting we that we are a little bit younger. So she should please help us to get something. So what what exactly do you think the government should do about it? They should find something. They should pay them before the election and all of that. So we will be able to at least meet up and then go on with our stuff and that. How are you being affected by the ASU strike? I don't, I like the ASU strike. Let's continue to go on. Very, 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 very. So Just every week, so? No, so even a week is bad. A week is very... What do you think they should do about it, the government? Let them just come together and listen to the the ASU, yes, and sort this problem once and for all, because it's really making some... Those are... They accept, it takes really grace for someone that has been there and that knows what he or she wants to do. Most people are, are easily distracted these days when there is de when there is a little bit of holiday. Yes, when there is a little bit delay. And I think the government needs to come in fast, very fast, before it leads to something else. Our uh, strike is not encouraging in terms of their governor. Our governor, our governments are not they are not encouraging us in terms of that because the acid strike is making all the students to stay at home and they are doing nonsensical things because when they are in school they are doing some things busy because when they are go to school they will learn some things that will be busy with their brain but when they are in the acid strike now they will not be busy with their brain they will just be ragging with us with all those touts and all these things not that you will be saying prostitute there will be many because they don't have the time when they are in school they will not have the time to do, do that prostitute full time because they will be having some they want to go and learn they want to go and do their own to go and classes that will, is there other classes that is giving that is shutting their time for others to do all those rubbish things but now that in our society that you see many people outside there they'll just be having some prostitutes all those things it's many but it's not encouraging because it's education how many years are they going to be educated we were going to school because yes because when they are in school we want maybe someone wants to for four years. How many years? Some people that are maybe 25 years they enter school. They want to use for that 28 years. How many years are they going to achieve their dream after the school? And they are going to serve a year. So all this asset square doesn't encourage anybody. What do you think the government should do? The government should don't cause any any kind of ASU strike or that because I really like um union loving as in Kwara Poly. They used to go to strike. Then you see many people they when they graduate, they used to as in their dream, they will quickly achieve their dream because the ASU strike doesn't limit their dream because it's, it's, it's based on their time and time is going. If and they said that um, a rich uh, LD people, they, they, as in, they noted their time, they don't waste their time anyhow. So the government is wasting people's time and they're wasting youth's time. That they see many, they say, young we are youth that don't want to do something, they're lazy. It's not a youth that are lazy, but it's because it's in the hand of the government. Well, government should do something there. It's because the ASU strike is too much. I I think the government don't really have our time because if your st student, if they are, how would I put it, if they have the time. yeah, if any of the child is in the school, they will really be able to know what we Nigerians are feeling. So I think with that, that's why they don't really have our time. So do you think it's taking time? The yeah, it's, it's taking time. It's taking time. Take for instance a course that's supposed to last for four years due to the strikes, definitely within five to six years the person will not be able to graduate. So what do you think the government should do about it? I think they should really look for a solution to it. How? But we are the leaders of tomorrow. And I think that, that, that this, this thing is, um, it doesn't take the government 24 hours to resolve it. It's just that there's political things and that's why they don't really want to do something about it. Strike. Now rubbish. Oh. 
Now, serious rubbish. Our government, they do nonsense. Is it affecting you? Uh, it's not affecting me, but it's affecting some people now. Like, seriously. Now, they talk, say, more will go work, more will go school. Some people, they try to go school to work. They see they break their heart down. So now, what do they want me to do? Maybe they steal. Uh, for, like, seriously, don't feel enter their house, sleep. Now all these bachelor and all these people never make another house and they enter go steal. You want to enter one rich man's house now, go steal. You go see army for the gates. So you know they easy. Maybe they try to open the gates for the students. Maybe they continue their lecture. What should the government The government should just open oh, the gates. Both gate. open the gates for them now. Maybe they continue their lecture now. What about the lecturers? The lecturers are too. Maybe they try to pay their salary. Exactly. I beg. Maybe they pay their salary. What do they want to feed their picking? I be, I be, now everybody go to the same water for main road. You know now. They know they shame self, they know they shame. Maybe they try to do something about it. That's been really, really bad though, because it's affecting us, the university students. So that's been bad. And it's affecting most students because it's prolonged their years in school. So it's really bad. What do you think the government should do about it? They should call it off and pay the um, lecturers their salaries. They should provide everything we need so are you not enjoying your time at home i'm not too. I'm are you for real i'm not at you don't have places you can go friends you can there see. is but at least we should be in school uh, we should be in school it's better to be in school than being at home you must be serious today ah <laughs> uh, they yeah, have to try it's been it's been a terrible thing and horrible stuff but it's, it's normal now like it used to happen always now so we are used to it you know we are used to everything. At least it gives us time to rest as a student sometimes, yeah? but it's only delay us too for some things we are supposed to have done, you know, like the test and the examinations that we're supposed to take in to take us to another level. What, 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 the other side that is going on, I want to pledge the Nigerian our, and our government to plead on it and pay the bill to the to the, I want, I want to, uh, uh, to to the lecturer, uh, yes, because our students they are, they are, they are, home, they are home now. That's why they are not doing anything. Eh? So these things are causing the damage of illegitimate of the minimum being. Understand? So we want government to assist us, to plead and to help us bring our students back to school and pay their understand, pay their levies.